Dale Thacker and his family farm near Bow Island, Alberta, where they grow a variety of specialty crops. Like most farmers, the Thackers don't want to be slowed down by excess water on their fields in the spring. When Dale came across the Dynaflow pumping system at a farm show recently, it didn't take long until he decided to buy one. And we've got a whole slew of the, of the floating pumps. And, and, and the floating pumps are fine, you know, the little gas-powered floating pumps, but they're limited to volume. The nice thing about this guy, it, it's quick, it's simple. You, you back up, you hook up the hose, and you turn it on, and, and you do some meaningful work. You know, 3,000 gallons a minute, you could tell by the, by, by, the, by the water you've seen flowing earlier. This thing moves a lot of water. It's a high-volume pump, and uh, it, it can do more in, in, in one day than, than you can do all spring with, with, with a whole slew of floating pumps. The Dynaflow pump was developed by Dana Rosendahl of Oaks, North Dakota. Right now he's giving Thacker a hand by hooking up the handy 50-foot, 12-inch hose to the system. The main pipe is a piece of well casing, which is quarter-inch wall. Um, so it makes it real rigid and uh, mostly everything else is uh, uh, the wheel bearings are marine style, the same you would see on a boat trailer. Um, the grease cups. Uh, they're automatic greasers and they keep the bearings loaded so that the uh, wheels don't fill up with uh, water when they're underwater. Here the unit is working without the hose just to show how it keeps pumping water right down to a depth of about six inches. This is made possible by the unique water intake device on the back end of the unit. What this allows you to do, it bolts right onto the back of the pump and it gives you uh, ten, 10 linear feet of area for the water to come into the pump, of course, underneath. Uh, we've nicknamed it the bottom feeder. Um, it allows us to pump uh, 3,000 gallons a minute in about six inches of water. So uh, when you back into a slough, uh, you know, this pump, it'll prime itself with the water just one third or two thirds up the pump, up the side of the pump. Uh, once it primes itself, it'll sit there and pump until, uh, until you've pulled your slough virtually right to the bottom. The mesh underneath the bottom feeder acts as an important safety feature. Uh, that has the capability of passing at least four inch solids. So, um, you know, most of the time grass and, you know, some stocks and sort of those sort of things will pass through there. But uh, if you back into a bunch of wreaths or something uh, and you knock them over and you start pumping from there, they'll suck themselves up against the bottom. So it's something that needs to be managed. But uh, I think it's a device that needs to be on there. Just it's a big safety thing. And it does keep big chunks and logs and stuff like that from getting stuck inside the pump. Bearings like this one are a key component in the Dynaflow pumping system. There's four of these inside the, the uh, pipe, and that's what supports the power shaft. It's a stainless steel shaft. Rides inside of each of the bearings. These bearings are called a marine bearing, a cutlass bearing. Um, this, this bearing is... Uh, made of neoprene, a certain type of neoprene that's very hard. Um, after uh, we've had a customer run his pump dry and we pulled it apart and they, these were virtually untouched. So uh, they'll take the abuse. As the water's flowing up here, these bearings are fluted so that the water will flow through there easily and, and cool that area. The Dynaflow unit is designed to run off a 1000 RPM power takeoff and only requires about 20 horsepower. Right now, they're working with a single 50-foot hose, but Rosendahl says they have successfully pumped up to 1,500 feet with this system. What we do is put a 12-inch hose off the discharge, and once, we've, once we get 50 feet away from the, the pump, we can reduce it down to, say, 10-inch and take off with aluminum pipe. And uh, Of course, the gallonage drops with 10-inch pipe. Uh, but we're probably still someplace in the two to 2,200 gallon range, we figured. Uh, providing there's not a lot of elevation in that 1,500 feet, it, it works pretty well. At the time of our visit, the 27 foot long Dynaflow units were selling for just over $10,000 each, including a 50 foot hose. Rosendahl says they're having a tough time keeping up with the demand, but they continue to try to make the system more user friendly. In the near future, they hope to make it compatible with tractors with a 540 power takeoff.